This video will provide information about Sitka's annual upgrade. This year, the upgrade will take place in October. The servers will be unavailable from 9 p.m. Pacific, Saturday, October 21st, until 5 a.m. Pacific, Monday, October 23rd. During the upgrade, the web client and public catalog will not be available. The offline module will also not work while our servers are being upgraded. If your library is open on Sunday, October 22nd, you will need to manually track your circulations. We have taken additional steps so that authentication of third-party services will continue while Evergreen is being upgraded. So while the web staff client and public catalog will be unavailable, authentication of third-party services will continue and your patrons should be able to access their digital resources. Ahead of the upgrade, there are some important things you can do to get ready. Make sure your relevant staff have accounts on bc.libraries.coop so they receive upgrade-related communications. These updates will also be posted to the Staff News section in Evergreen, but won't be viewable while the servers are being upgraded. There's a 3.11 preview page with a list of new features and bug fixes, and this will give staff a good idea of the changes coming. Staff can also watch videos like this one to see the new features in action. We will be posting new videos up to and after the upgrade, so check this playlist often. If you haven't already, let your patrons know the upgrade is coming. If you're a LibPress library, there's a shared Evergreen upgrade slide available for your slideshow. Before you log into Evergreen on October 23rd or October 24th if you're closed on Mondays, you must clear your browser cache. This will ensure any cached data from 3.9 is removed. If you run into an issue, make sure you've cleared your cache, check our known issues list, check our documentation, and then contact Co-op Support. When you contact support, please make sure you follow the guidelines for submitting support tickets and include as much information as possible, including any relevant barcodes and screenshots so we can assist you. The link in the description of this video will take you to a handout that compiles all the different resources mentioned in this video. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit the BC Libraries Cooperatives website.